Hey, hello and welcome to this new tutorial by Flowmotion. Hey, hello and welcome to this new tutorial by Flowmotion. And today we are going to take a look at a plugin called Lockdown. And I bet you already know what this is good for. So let's directly jump into After Effects. So in here let's just import everything we need to get this thing going. And of course we need the footage that I shot and an image of Brad Pitt imported. So the footage is just me sitting in front of a green screen. You don't really need a green screen here, but I also replaced the background. This is why. But I painted my whole face with dots and I painted more dots around the parts that just move more like my eyes and my mouth. But let me tell you something. I also found that you don't really need points or at least not that much because the plugin is really, really good. So you can also achieve really good results without having the trouble to paint a lot of dots in your face. So next thing is of course an image of the person that you wanna add to your face. And this is an image that I found on the internet from Brad Pitt. And I simply wrote it out and worked a little bit on this fine hair detail here. And for that I used the rough and edges effect. So let's just drag and drop the footage onto this new composition icon, which will automatically create a composition matching all the settings of your footage. So the footage has 25 frames and it's 1920 by 1080. So when you drag and drop that, you also get a composition that has 25 frames a second and is full HD. Perfect. But before we jump into all that crazy stuff here, let me quickly tell you, Thank you so, so much for reaching 20,000 subscribers. And because of that, I made that small animation. And if you want to learn how I did that, you can actually click on that info card here. And there's a nice, quick, short tutorial on how I created that. And now let's just jump back into After Effects. And by the way, Lockdown, the plugin that we are talking about today, is not only good for face replacements. You could basically track everything that doesn't have a flat surface, like in those Lockdown examples. So it's really, really useful. And if you want to buy the plugin because you love it as much as I do, you will find a link for that in the description below. And now let's get this done quick and dirty, because it's really easy to use. Once you have it installed, you just open it up, you go to window and you find it down here, lockdown. And what's really cool is that you have those numbers from one to 10. So you really just have to go through it step by step from one to 10 and you're done. So once you can pre-compose it, now it's pre-composed and has already opened our footage. And you see that the lockdown effect is already on there and you can apply the optional tracking filters. This is basically some levels to get more contrast, to get more detail out of all of this. But I don't think that I actually need it, so I'm just hiding those. And we're at point two, so next is number three. And number three is here. Control, command, click, the layer to create tracking points. And in my case, I could just zoom in here and do exactly that, create tracking points on all the points that I have painted. That just takes some time. So let's just undo that because I want to show you a quick way to do it. So when you press down the control button, you can also make a square around the area that you want to track. And if you do it twice, you get more points over there. And this should just work really good. And as I did it with, the, with my points, I'm just doing it twice for the areas where I want to have more points. So let's go back to the next step, which is point four. Press to track the points. And I'm just clicking on there. And when you go to the lockdown effect, you can see that this is really fast. So this is real time what you're seeing. It has already 50 frames of 135 frames. So really, really fast. Perfect. This is what lockdown has created. And what you can do now is just go through all of this and delete points that you don't want to use. For example, the points on my teeth and on my mouth. So I can just alt click on them to delete them. And I could also delete 
all the keyframes behind the arrows or in front of them. So you can watch if a tracking point stays on a point and once it creates some errors, you just delete the keyframes after that. And this is what you can do with delete backwards or delete forward. And when you've done all of that, then you can go to point five, which is interpolate all the tracks and just click on number six to create the mesh, the distortion mesh that we want to use. And what you can see here is that it has created a mesh and sometimes it can happen that you want to put something in this case on my face that is bigger than this mesh. So therefore let's just go back. This just makes more sense once you see it. Hold on Alt, Control, Shift and in that way you can set points on your own. And this is really powerful if you just want to extend all of this because when I'm clicking on Auto Triangulate Mesh now you can see that it takes those points into calculation. Great. Next thing is number seven. We want to apply the mesh. So I just go to the first frame and apply the mesh on this frame because this is just a frame where I'm looking most neutral. And now what you can see is that it has stabilized my face. So really cool. You can see that it warps a little bit around here and also around here. So you could always go back and add some more track points to that. But for me, this is a really, really nice result so far. Because let me show you what you can do now. We're at point seven, so eight, return to the lockdown script. This is what we have done. And now click on lockdown. So what has happened now? We have a composition and there we have our original clip and we have the stabilized footage on top, but it is still moving. This is because inside here we have the stabilized footage. We don't need the original clip in here. So to quickly show you how this works now, I'm just adding something to the stabilized parts. So maybe I'll just create a small test text and I'm adding the test over here. And this is just qu really quick to show you what you can do with that. Maybe one more. And when I go back to the composition, you can see this is absolutely awesome. So remember what you have to do. You just bring in the footage, you select an area where you wanna have tracking points, then click on track and you have seen how fast this really goes. And after that, create the mesh and hit lockdown and you're all set up. And this is where we are now. So maybe you can already guess what we are doing now. We just bring in the picture of Brad Pitt going down with the opacity by hitting T for opacity. I wanna make sure that nothing is cut off here. If I would need a bigger framing for that, I would add some additional points around that area. But luckily enough, Brad Pitt seems to have somehow the same proportions as I have. Looking good. Now I can also add that layer and go back to the precomp. Maybe he's a little bit dark, so we add a little bit of exposure to somehow match my skin tones. The face follows perfectly, but it still looks a little bit strange at some points, especially at my eyes and the mouth. And this is, of course, because I'm opening and closing my mouth and I'm blinking. And of course, you can see my hair. Let's fix that by simply adding some green color over here. That should work. And now I'm going to show you how I created the mouth and the eyes. And this is really, really easy. Just go back to Brad Pitt. So in here, let's just mask out Brad Pitt's mouth. Hit M to get the mask properties and hit M twice to see all the properties. So M once is just the path and M twice gives you all the other options. And now we click on subtract and we can just reposition this a little bit. Hit F for feather and feather the mask a little bit. So basically I'm just rotoing out the parts that I want to keep from the original footage. So same with his eyes. Of course we have to set them to subtract and maybe also feather them a little bit. Of course, we have to bring it back to 100% and hide the footage. Back in here, we just see green because we just added the green. So let's just duplicate the footage by hitting Control D. And I'm just using the rectangular mask tool to make a 
mask around the eyes and around the mouth and make a quick ramp preview. This quick and dirty result is one good reason why I would highly recommend this plugin. So it really helps in many, many situations. And as a last quick tip, if you have trouble with tracking points in lockdown or you want to track specific points, you can also use Mocha to really track some tracking points on the pixel. And then you can import your tracking data into lockdown because there is a Mocha import button and the same thing goes with the face tracker. So both of those trackings could be used as an input for the lockdown. And as I told you before, it's not only good to track faces, but you could also track the shirt, which I have also done in my final version that I'm showing you here. But I'm pretty sure that while you are watching this tutorial, that you have a hell of a lot of ideas what you can do with this. So if you're as fascinated as I am, then just feel free to purchase the plugin and play with it. As I told you, there's a link in the description below. And if you want me to do more of those really, really, really fun tutorials for you, just click subscribe button because the more likes I have, the more subscribers I have, the more tutorials I can do for you and I really love doing those tutorials. And if you want to know more about tracking, facial tracking, mocha and all of that stuff, just leave me a comment down below and I'll try to answer all of those. And now I wish you a lot of fun locking down your faces. Shit man, now it's all gone.